The Indian Navy is all set to get its first India-made Starliner drone. Drones are everywhere these days. From these tiny ones to being used in photography and videography to the big ones being used by the military. But did you know that these actually date back to 1849 when they were first used in the Italian War of Independence? An Austrian artillery lieutenant used pilotless balloons packed with explosives to attack Venice. Well, that's just one thing. But here are seven things that you didn't know about drones. Today we see drones being used in the Russia-Ukraine war where combat drones have struck both Moscow and Kyiv. But these kinds of drones were first built in 1970 by Abraham Karim, also called Drone Father. He's a Baghdad-born Israeli-raised engineer who later went on to design the MQ-1 Predator drone for the United States that was used over Afghanistan in 2001, completely transforming the strategy and tactics of military combat. In India, you must register your drone with the authorities before you put one in the sky. A permit is required for all commercial operations except for nano and micro drones that basically weigh less than 250 grams. In fact, making use of this loophole, drone manufacturers like DJI specifically build their drones to weigh 249 grams. Regulators in the United States, Canada, the UK, Europe, Australia and other regions have agreed that drones weighing less than 250 grams are virtually harmless and are subject to fewer restrictions and requirements than the heavier counterparts. Drones cannot be flown in the no-fly zones. GPS tracking prevents them from doing so, including airports, international borders, strategic locations, military installations and certain locations in India. Flying drone over private residential property is illegal. Most often than not, celebrities have become targets of paparazzi drones. In 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle filed a lawsuit against paparazzi for flying a drone above their California home and capturing photos of their son. The drone industry saw an inflection point in 2013 when Amazon announced that it would experiment with drone deliveries. Since then, we have seen companies like Zomato, Tata One, MG, Dunso attempt these kind of deliveries. Drones have been used for medicine deliveries, search and rescue operations, nabbing criminals, wildlife conservation and so much more. In fact, soon enough, we might be flying in drones ourselves. The first passenger drone was unveiled in 2016 by a Chinese company that is still being tested. Who knows one day we'll take one to work and fly over the rush hour traffic. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.